Hello, welcome to the Viva Violins Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how you tune your viola. You might need this information if you're a parent of a child who plays the viola and aren't seeing their teacher for a while and it's got out of tune in the case, or if you're a real beginner and you don't know where to start. So the first thing you need to know is what the names of the strings are. So if we start at the bottom, this is the thickest string, this is the C string. The next one up is the G string, the next one up to that is the D string and the thinnest one at the top is the A string. We tend to start tuning on the A as that's the note that's used in orchestras to tune. If we start there, it's a good place. Now, if you've got a tuning fork, you can tune your A string. A tuning fork looks like this. And if you tap it on something hard and then put it on your bridge, you can hear an A. Now this is great if you know what the other strings sound like in relation to that, but if you don't, the best thing to do is to download an app on your mobile phone or get a digital tuner like this one, guitar tuners, um, ukulele tuners, all work on violas as well. This one um, works really well and it will clip on. So come down to the bench and I'll show you how to use it. So let's clip this onto the scroll to start with. That will go there. So we're going to start with the A string. So if we pluck the top string, which is the A string, that's registering slightly under. I want the dark green line at the top to be the one that shows you'll know your own tuner after a while. So if we just tweak that up on the fine tuner at the bottom, tweak it to the right, righty tighty, lefty loosey, always works. So right will take your string slightly higher, a little bit more, and that's bang in tune. Let's go down to the D string, which is the next one down. That's your D there. Again, that's slightly low, not too bad. We'll just tweak it up a little bit. And just a shade more. And that's in tune. Let's do the G string. Again, a little bit on the low side, on the flat side. So tweak it up a little bit. Nearly there. And that's in tune. Then let's do the C, which is the lowest string. Now that's telling me that's a B. I can do that on this fine tuner because I've got plenty of room in it. It's sticking out quite a long way, if you can see that. So I can do that. I can tune it up on that fine tuner, which I'm going to do. It's always safest to use the fine tuners. So I'm just going to do quite a lot of turns and then test it. Now we're up to a C, that's good. A few more turns. A little bit more to get it bang in tune. There we go, that's in tune. Now say your viola was in the case and you picked it up and it sounded something like this. Don't panic, that's very out of tune, but we can easily do that now we know what we're doing. Get your tuner, put it onto the scroll just as before. Let's start with A string. Now that's completely gone. So we're going to need to use the pegs. So the A string peg is the bottom one on the right hand side. When you're turning a peg, push in and turn gently. And you can watch as you push and turn that your tuner registers the note that you're on. So we've got a D, a D sharp, E, F, G, and we know we're nearly there. Now it's registering an A. Now you can see we've gone a shade over which might just drop as we leave it. Yes, it will. So that one's now bang in tune. If your pegs fit well, it's great. If they don't, you might need to look at another video to see how to chalk them to stop them slipping. Now, this is the D. That says C sharp. So I am going to tune this one on the peg. This viola does have fine tuners on all the strings as well. But we'll tune this one on the pegs so you can see what to do. So push in and turn until you get into tune. If you go slightly over, it doesn't matter. If you're on a D, it's better to get it on the dark green line on this tuner so that it is bang in tune. But if you're tuning your D, for example, and you then go to an E or an F or a G, you do run the risk of snapping the string because they're not meant to be put at that much tension. So let's do the G string now. That's pretty much there. That just needs tweaking a little bit. Lovely, and the C. Okay, that's registering an A. So we know we're going to have to turn the peg a little bit more on this one. So pushing in and turning A sharp, 
B. And now we're at a C, slightly over. So on this instrument, I'm just going to tweak it down using the fine tuner at the bottom there. And that one's in perfectly. I hope that's been helpful. So that's how you tune your viola. If you do go wrong and you break a string, don't worry, just contact Viva Violins. I can send you another one out in the post and I'll do another video on how you actually fit a string at another time. But in the meantime, I hope this has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching.